now on our way to Rhodes. We're quite excited about Rhodes, we've heard a lot of good things about it. The plan is to anchor just south of the marina and then check into the marina the following day where we can go and explore the old town of Rhodes. I don't think it's going to be a lot of wind today, uh, so it looks like we'll be motoring most of it. These guys are hard at work. Please. Okay. So after a lot of motoring, we have now just arrived at the northern tip of Rhodes. As you can see, it's much more built up than some of the other islands we've been to. Me and Josh are just chilling. This is the Rhodes. Obviously the castle, piece of the castle there. Can I see it? Yeah, it's pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. And it, it all looks pretty ready much, like this bit around here as well. This looks a lot more um, commercialised, like it, we haven't seen high-rise buildings since we got to Greece. So this is a bit new for us, not really our scene, but we're hoping that part of roads will appeal and that, um, yeah, we might find a little piece of home here. Roads, baby. Oh, we made it. Yep. How did anchoring go? Oh, that was fun. It didn't go because I turned the switch off to the funny machine that makes the anchor go down. On the fuse board. On the fuse board. Because I asked Ross if he wanted me to turn it off and he said yes. You, when you asked me, we just left first thing this morning and you said, do you want me to turn the anchor? Oh, are you, you said, tired? You said, do you want me to turn the anchor lights off? And the anchor light is the light at the top of the mast, which tells other boats that we're at anchor in the dark. So yes, obviously I would want that turned off. I never said that because every morning when I get up, that's the first thing I do is turn the anchor light off. I know I need to turn that off, but the other lights, I don't know. That's why I asked. Okay, it's not a light. Anyway, it doesn't matter, we managed it, we did it. But when it came to anchoring, we were in the perfect spot and I pressed the button and obviously nothing happened. Yeah, anyway, we're going to explore Rome now at Rome. We're going to go and explore Rhodes now and it's medieval coolness. I want to check out though, that castle. Yeah. And I better go and sort the kids out because they sound like they're killing each other. Uh, we've just had dinner and we're just chilling out now and we're about to play a little game of Scrabble. And at the moment, Josh is telling us some jokes, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Here's the first one. Doctor, doctor, my wooden leg is giving me a lot of pain. Why is that? My wife keeps hitting me on the head with it. Donk. 
doctor, doctor, I've lost my memory. When did it happen? When did what happen? <laughs> Daddy's telling a bedtime story. All these cards. It's very good. Smashed up. Follow the rules of the traffic lights. Don't even think about it. <laughs>So we had a nice night's sleep at anchor, look at that. Not the prettiest, but good night's sleep, which is what we needed. Now we're going to the marina. We're not quite sure how we're gonna moor up, but they're apparently gonna help us once we get to the entrance. So I'm gonna radio through and fingers crossed, don't get any boats. Do you shopping a bit? So what have you got? What have you got, guys? Colour pencil, new colour pencil. Yeah, new colour pencil. Pencil cases. And there's a couple of other things: paints, paint, paint on the paper. Where is it? Oh, there's a little bit in there. Oh, yeah. Last but not least. There you go. What'd you say? Thank you so much, mummy. No, what'd you say to mummy? Thank you, mummy. But can you open it, mummy? Yeah, do you want to do some painting, do you? I think we just came through here, I'm not sure. Can we're you here. figure out where we are? We're there. Oh, where we're it says we are here. Tradesman's So where do we want to go? Hiya. Uh, exactly, we are here. <laughs> Much greener hair, right? You gonna get a drink? Now this has got our name on it. Give us a dance, Laura. Yummy. How is it? Amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, Thanks. I love it. The saurus. Yeah. <laughs> and can we just get the the elephant red out the clock? The clock is now being Three, two, one. Three of the night. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, Noah. He's racing the guy with the bike. Noah. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Just wandering around at the minute, trying to find the palace, aren't we? Sure are. I think it's this way. Wow. Wow. Pretty cool. The formidable palace of the Grand Master of the Knights was built on the area of a 17th century Acropolis and also the temple of the sun god Helios. But these guys have been here a long time. This one here has lost his head. He's lost his head. He's lost his head, hasn't he? The Knights of St. John built it as a residence for the Grand Master. Come out here, Mummy and Daddy. Come out here. Okay, let's have a look. Josh, see that there? Jesus, That's yeah. over 700 years old. Jesus, when you die. Four years ago. And it was later destroyed in 1856 by a large explosion of gunpowder, which was hidden in the adjacent church of St. John. The palace was reconstructed during the Italian occupation and became the residence of the Italian commander, hence its Italian design influence. Remarkable floor mosaics adorn the floors and medieval structures and items complete its decorative feel. Yeah, it's supposed to be a dog or a duck. Not sure. Feels like something out of Tomb Raider. This tree. A little bit, yeah. 3,000 years old. 3,000? And you, did you just make that up? <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> oh. A rare moment. <gasps> we do we do like each other really, don't we? Yeah. You'll do. I'll do. You'll do. Laura wants me to vlog this. It's a shop and a boat. It's pretty cool. I've done a lot of walking. Noah hasn't done quite as much walking as the rest of us. I don't even care about my walk. You're really good at walking, aren't you? You don't even moan about your legs or anything, ever. Yeah. Legend. 
Good morning guys. Well, it's Sunday today, um, the day after we went to the medieval castle and we're just having a bit of a getting jobs done day. So I'll show you what's going on up on deck. That's Joshy and Daddy out there now. They are washing the decks and I'm just cleaning actually. So I'm just cleaning the inside. Um, I've done the bathrooms of the boys' rooms and Noah is down here playing with his dinosaurs for a change, aren't you Noah? They're just having a dino battle battle. Oh, it's a dino battle. And up here, look at the boat, how the boat is swinging around. I don't know if you can really see this. All the boats are just like bobbing around like crazy. I think then um, we'll just get ready to pack up and head towards Lindos. I know that they'll be absolutely fine, but I just hate seeing boats like moving around so close to each other um, and the boys being near the edge. It totally freaks me out. And on that note, I got a date with a pair of rubber gloves. <laughs> Wow, that was hot work. Finished! So, Laura's just gone off to work to the cafe. I've been doing some homeschooling with the boys. I thought I'd throw in some stuff about castles and their homeschooling. And they've learned all about the different parts. Even I've learned, actually. <laughs> learned quite a lot about castles. But um, we're doing all of that in a boat that's just rocking around constantly. This marina just lets the swell in and it's the most uncomfortable marina I've ever been in. This is what we've been listening to all night. I don't know if it's just the, the two days that we've been here or whether it's always like it, but I just had to get off the boat and that's not like me. Cut it a little bit short today because I've been going a bit crazy. <laughs> so we're all getting a breather and then we're going to leave and find an anchorage. Get out of here. <laughs> They're gone. Look who we found. Yeah. I'm going to get laser work done now, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It'll stop breaking. We're, We're just going to the to shop see. and we found Mummy's hiding place. I'm not hiding. I'm social media and coaching. Well, we just come to say a quick hi and then we're going to go again. Leave it to him. Where are we going, Captain? To the Anchorage. <laughs> An Anchorage. I'm just going to maze. Well, we've got where we stayed before is option one. Yeah. But, um, it's we might mosey on down a bit further, like halfway to Lindos. Anchor life. We miss it, don't we? I have missed it. <laughs> Ross has been in a very bad mood today because of being a. I have been. Well, not really bad. Well, you were a bit grumpy, but I don't know. We just Marina like. Marina fever. Marina fever. That's the word for it. Yeah. We just love being on anchor and so we're really looking forward to that life again got the wife putting the fenders out or putting them away that's one job i just hate doing I'm really glad she knows how to do it now we should have eight up there later let's we'll see how many we have at the anchorage <laughs> so we're all anchored up it's all, all pretty easy isn't it so far, so good. So Don't far, we haven't had to move the anchor yet. Yeah. Although, I'm going to go and um, dive it in a second. It looks amazing. It's hot, but hot really beautiful. Fun still up. Got all these day boats here at the minute. I don't think they'll be here all night. Oh, Laura's going to do a cannonball. Pressure's on now. Which side, though? That's the, that's the question. That side. This side? Yeah. Cannonball on! <laughs> My beams came out. Oh, I can't get back in the boat. Why? Let me in. Come on, all those weights you do, you should be able to get back in. Oh, it's so warm. They're nice. Amazing. You put your boobs away. Oh, I can't get in the boat. Do it as one quick movement. That's it. And then up. I can't. 
fun. I just did five sets of pull-ups this morning. Okay. Well, you need to do some more. Shall I put the ladder down for you? God damn it, no! That's it. Get on. Cut. So what do you think of this anchorage? No, I love it. It's the best one so far. Well, thing is, really warm today, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely and warm, isn't mm. it? And I've been into the water, and I just saw the anchor. And now we're here, and we've got the whole place to ourselves because everyone's yeah. which is brilliant. We don't need much to be happy, do we? Ready for an ass weapon? Scrabble. I'll kick your ass. Who's the one that's good at English? Me. I think the motorway is over that way, mate. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. You're going to Turkey. Is this Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or what? You, you want to go that way? I don't know where you're going to. Have you been drinking? Smoking <laughs> Drink driving. Everyone is awake. We're just sitting there and I don't really want to go. But my heart is on the road. Flow on the way just to feel the air. The sun shines on my back when the skies are clear and 